What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. You guys already know the deal. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping onto that ranked double ladder and check this team out ladies and gentlemen. Look at this team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today we got ourselves a multi-scale and weakness policy Dragonite team alongside with Choice Band Scissor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, it legit only takes a second of you guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and just click that subscribe button. Really, that's all it takes to support me as a content creator. So I thank everybody who does that. But before we get started with this team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Diesel for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. Diesel, shout out to you, my guy. You made a banging team right here. Cannot wait to get after it and use it on the rank double ladder. But getting started with this team, Regilecki in that top left corner. A great Pokemon that you can pretty much put on any single team. Transistor ability, Magnet as its item, so our electric moves are boosted. Volt Switch for Pivot and Stab. E-Web for Speed Control and Stab. Ancient Power for Coverage and Protect as our final move. Right next to him is a Pokemon that everybody loves, especially me. I love this Pokemon, and I just love using him on the ranked double ladder. He's a lot of fun. It's Scizor. We got Technician Ability. If you guys do not know what that is, I think it's any move that's below 60 power gets boosted up to 60 power. So moves like Bullet Punch is going to do way more damage than it normally does, and it's Stab, and we have the Choice Band item. So Bullet Punch is going to be able to rock out with this Pokemon. We got Super Power for coverage, U-Turn for Pivot and Stab, and Dual Wing Beat as our final coverage move. Middle left is a Pokemon that everybody loves. You can go on any single team, Incineroar over here. Do I need to say more about this Pokemon? Everything's normal for him. He's got Intimidate, Citrus Berry, Normal Move Set, a Flare Blitz, Snarl, Parting Shot, and Fake Out. I didn't even need to say it. All, all I should say next time is just like, yo, here's Incineroar, he's on the team. Because everybody knows he's rocking the, this move set with this exact item and ability. Right next to him is going to be Dragonite, the heart and soul of this team. Weakness policy and multi-scale ability. Dragon Claw and Dual Wing Beat for Stab. Fire Punch for our coverage move and Dragon Dance to set this Pokemon up. Once he gets buzzing, it's pretty much GG's. Bottom left is going to be Comfy with Triage ability and Leftovers as his item. This Pokemon is here to basically set up this Dragonite. I can proc policy with it and then I can just keep Floral Healing or Ally Switching to keep this Dragonite alive and rolling. We got Draining Kiss, Floral Healing, Ally Switch and Helping Hand for its moveset. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Milotic, competitive ability and adrenaline orb. So if an intimidate Pokemon comes after him, we're going to get that competitive boost, go up plus two on special attack, our adrenaline orb is going to pop, we're going to get plus one on speed, and this Pokemon is going to be able to roll out and dominate. We got Scald, Ice Beam, Mirror Coat, and Protect as its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this multi-scale weakness policy Dragonite and Scizor team. Let's try to get started on a strong note here in battle number one. We're going up against a Galarian Moltres team alongside with Whimsicott for Tailwind, Intimidate Landers. He also has the Regilecki, Kangaskhan, so cool. He has one off-meta Pokemon on his team, and then he has Urshifu in the back end. How should I go into this one? How should I lead it? Whimsicott can set up a Tailwind, so I gotta watch out for that. Is there any way we can take Speed Control? Maybe Regilecki, but I kind of want to just get rocking out with the Comfy combo. Right? We could do that. We could do that, or I can lead Milotic, but I do not see him leading Landers. That's my problem. I don't see him bringing Landers. I'm gonna go Dragonite and Comfy. I'm gonna bring Scissor in and the back end. I don't think we need Incineroar here. It could be decent, but I feel like a better option would either be Regilecki or Milotic. Let me try to see this. Let me try to see this one through. Let me think it up. Let me think it up. Regilecki's not bad. We have speed with him. He is great with speed. Hmm. Where do I want to go? I'm going to go Milotic here. I'm thinking Milotic. I just love Milotic. Especially in case he brings out Intimidate Landers. And if we can get him rolling in there, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great little play there. But, guys, since we're using a Pseudo Legendary, let me know for a question of the day. What is your favorite Pseudo Legendary to use on the ranked ladder? Anyone. There's multiple from different generations. You've got Garchomp. Well, not all of them are in this game, but a lot of them are. You got Garchomp, you got Salamence, you got Metagross, you got Dragonite, you got Dragapult, who's the newest one. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite to use. I think they're all so much fun to use. I, I don't think I can decide on one, but we're using Dragonite today, and I really do like to use Dragonite. But he's going to go in with Kangaskhan and, and uh, what's his name, Regilecki, which I'm totally fine with. I'm just going to Dynamax here, and I could Worm Wing because I know that what's called is physical attacking. I know that the, uh, the Kangaskhan is physical attacking, so I might Worm Wing, but I really would like to take speed here. Speed could be... He could be really good for us. 
What do I just warm one? What do I want? Do I want drop his attack or do I want speed for the squad? We're just gonna go with the uh, warm one. I'm gonna drop that thing's attack and I'm just gonna go for a draining kiss. Practicing's policy and we're gonna get after. We are gonna get after. Let's see what this guy does. So we're gonna Dynamax. I don't think he's Dynamax unless it's Kangaskhan because we know Regilecki outspeeds everybody. One of the fastest Pokemon in the game. I think his speed gets up to like two something. If you have it as like a speed nature like Jolly. But Jolly's for more so uh, physical attackers. So there's, I forget the one for special attackers. But yeah, this thing can get over 200 speed easily. Let's see what it does. He's just gonna fake me out. Oh, yes, sir. Fake out my Dragonite. Take off my multi scale though, which kind of stinks. But still, we don't do too, too much damage here. Weakness policy is proc. Now all we need to do is have this Dragonite survive whatever moves coming out from here. Let's see what's happening. He's gonna say, oh, this thing screens. Okay, so this thing is all with the screens. Haven't seen that in a while, so it's kind of throwing me off. I totally forgot. You could set up a Regilecki to be all screened out. But there goes a Wormwind. Takes it out, no problem. Gets it out of my face. But he does have a Reflect setup. So now what I can do with this Pokemon, or with this setup, is I can go for a Floral Healing, put my Dragonite back up to full HP, and have Multi-Scale again as an ability. Which is awesome. Which is dope. Which is amazing. Which I love. Intimidate's going to fly out here. And dang, man. Hate that Pokemon. Intimidate coming out here. That's going to drop me to plus one attack, which I, I'm kind of fine with. Do I have still Floral Healing? I think I might, or I can just Helping Hand and drop attack. Let's just make sure we get this attack drop on these Pokemon. I'm just going to Floral Healing and try to keep this Pokemon alive. Because if I can just keep constantly getting attack drops, uh, that'll be wonderful. He's going to swap the Kangaskhan and bring out who? Who am you going to bring out here? He's going to bring out Galarian Moltres, who is going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, no, it's not. Lando is. I'm with that. I'm with Lando being his Dynamax Pokemon. I'm totally fine with that. So Lando is going to end up being his Dynamax Pokemon. It actually works better for us because if I can get off two Wormwinds, we're going to be buzzing. Which I think I can. Considering I can ally switch or just keep Floral Healing up from there. So let's see. Hopefully this Floral Healing brings me back up to full HP. So I multi-skill this trigger. Come on, show it to me. All the way up. All the way up. Give it. Yes, sir. Full HP multi-scale is back in action. So I do not see us drop into any move here. There goes a plus one uh, Wormwind. Which is still doing a decent amount, but more importantly, we get that attack drop over onto that landers. He is physical attacking. We get that, and here goes an air shoot. So he's trying to take speed here. Multi scale is going to pop. Look at that. No damage whatsoever. Absolutely no damage. But he's going to ta start taking speed. Dang, dude, I should have brought Regilecki. <laughs> that Moltres. He shows that he's life orb. Okay, that's fine with me. And I think I'm just going to Worm one. Get rid of this landers, right? But I'm going to Worm one into you. Try to do as much damage as I possibly can into you. And just Floral Healing again, right? There's nothing he can really do about that. I'm just going to keep having this Multi-Scale pop up for us. Which is wonderful. Give me more HP. Bring me back up to full. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes a Taunt out from you. And I guess I have to go for Draining Kisses from now on. <laughs> taunt pops out here. And here goes a Rock Ball. He's changing up weather. And he's hit me. But Multi-Scale coming out. Look at that, super effective and no damage whatsoever. He's about to be minus two, which is gonna be huge for us. It's gonna be lovely for us. So we're basically just taking out his Dynamax turns, getting after it this way, and now we're gonna try to take out this player. Here. Start getting after this one. There's some solid damage. Maybe a Draining Kiss can take that out. We'll see in a second. We shall see in a second. A big attack drop coming out from him, and Berserk is popping. So, yo, he's gotta go. We gotta get him out of here. Buffets are going to actually chip him up, and I think a Draining Kiss should be able to do enough damage on that thing. Draining Kiss should be able to do enough, enough damage, I think. We have leftovers, so Buffets ain't really doing too, too much to my Confi, and we rocking out with him. Yo, dude, I love this combo. This combo is so good. We got Lando minus two, which is huge for us. So maybe we can eat up another Rock Ball. Um, I think I just go for a Dragon Claw into you. I think Confi outspeeds, right? Let me see the speeds real quick, because I want Confi to go first. Yes, try it, so it actually will go first, so it don't even matter about speeds. But Confi will go first. I'm just going to go for a Draining Kiss and look for the KO onto him, and I'm doubling up into that Moltres, just in case this Draining Kiss doesn't KO. But I think it should, right? Let's see. Draining Kiss comes out here. Pick up the KO for me. Yep, we get rid of that Moltres. Wanted him gone because he was plus one on special attack. I'm not really worried about this Landorus too, too much, considering he's minus two. 
He's gonna drop a Rock Fault, and this might be able to pick up KO onto my uh, Dragonite, but I can see him survive here as well. Nope. Does not survive. He gets that super effective shot. It's a crit. That's why. That's why. Come on, man. Get a crit. Get out of my face, yo. I'm playing so well, and you get a crit. Get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of here. Gets a lucky crit. Come on, man. I put you minus two just for you to get a crit. But his Dynamax turns are over. He cannot swap anymore. And you know who I'm bringing out? Did I take out two of his Pokemon? Yeah. I'm bringing out Scizor, dude. I'm bringing out my Scizzy. Or I can just bring out you and have Scizor for the back end. Yeah, yo, let's go Milotic, dude. Milotic all day. All day Milotic. Bringing this thing out. Now I like having Milotic over to Regilek because now we got the bird going. And Kangaskhan is going to be his final Mon. He definitely has Fake Out ready to rock. Uh, I might just protect. I think I'm just going to protect my Milotic, right? In case you're going to go for the Fake Out. Let's just send that Protect, and I guess we'll just go for a lovely little Draining Kiss. And start chipping away onto... Again, I'm not really worried about the Lando. I'm not worried about the Lando, he's minus two. I don't think he gets another lucky crit. <laughs> I don't think that's happened. Well, fingers crossed for that one. And he's going to go for the Fake Out, and it's just going to go straight into Confi, so I could actually send an attack there. But I don't really care too much about the Confi. Confi's just there. He's just there, chilling. He's just doing his thing. I could helping hand get a boost, but I see that Milotic taking out that uh, that what's called no problem with a Scald. That Lander's no problem with the Scald, and then Comfy just going into a Draining Kiss. I think our Taunt should be end it right. Pretty close at least. I'm just gonna drop a Draining Kiss, get a little bit of HP back onto the Kangaskhan slot, and drop a lovely little Scald. Or I can go Ice Beam. Which one's better? Ice Beam is better. We're Ice, right? I believe we're Water and Ice. Might as well give it a check. We got time. No, we're just straight water, so Scald is a lot better. We get that stab boost here as well. I'm just going to go for the Scald, and then Draining Kiss over into you. Lovely. Everything is looking spiffy. We're looking real good here. And we have Scissor in the back, so it's going to be GG's. It's going to be easy GG's. It's going to be light work. It's going to be light work. There's no way Milotic goes down here. Oh, he flies. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. He's flying. Last Resort comes. Yo, he's Last Resort. Okay, you, can you just take out my confi? I, I don't need my confi here. I do not need my confi here. Buffets come out. I'm chilling with that. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I think I just protect the Milotic, right? Or do I ally switch? Or he just turns off his console. That works for us, too. We take a win in battle number one, even if we didn't lose connection or he didn't turn off console. We were definitely going to win that one. We had Scissor in the back end. We start off 1-0 for today's video. At the end of that first battle, that guy actually lost connection or turned off his console. I know that because we got a win on the board, so it wasn't my fault on the connection board. But we were going to win that one anyway. We were dominating. We had Scizor in the back. It was pretty much GG's from there. But we're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a team I actually showed off in a video. It is a Cinerace team alongside with Slush Rush Arctozolt. So got to watch out for that. Weather is going to be a little tough here. Uh, I think I got to start taking speed control. Right? Just in case he does that. Speed's a huge factor. How can I change weather? I do have Dragonite. But then he has Ice, which I don't like. He has Ice. Which I can use Multi-Skill to actually pop my policy. I could do that. Pop policy and then just uh, change weather and Floral Heal. I'm really liking that. So I am going to do that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Change ain't going to do that. I'm going to go in with you. And in Cinnamor, we're going to bring Dragonite and Scizor. I'm digging it. Let's get after it. Let's hop into our second battle. We were kind of crunched on that time schedule there, so I was looking to pick a team. But I was going to go with the risky play and go Dragonite and, and what's it called? And Comfy. And have a helping hand go over into... Oh, I could have Ally Switch. That could have been a play. That probably should have been the play. I totally forgot we had Ally Switch. But he goes Landers and Vanelx. Dude, I was going to lead... I was going to lead the Milotic. Should have done that. Should have led the Milotic. That would have been huge. But I'll take this turn. Oh, no. Never mind. It's a Landers without Intimate. Never mind. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. He has a... Uh, what is that ability? It's like... It's Sheer Force. That's what it is. He has Sheer Force rocking out on this thing. And I think he is holding the Life Orb as well. I think he is rocking out with the Life Orb. But I can go with the E-Web, which I'm probably going to do. I want to slow them down, but... Good H power. I think I might just Volt Switch here. So we Volt Switch and just uh, drop a fake out here as well. 
This is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna fake out the Vanellix and we're gonna drop a Volt Switch onto him. Fake out comes out. Mwah. Drop a nice, lovely little fake out. Volt Switch comes in and we're gonna hit that out. Bang, do we KO? So close. So close to the KO. And who should I go into from here? Uh, I think I'm just gonna get Scizor up in here. In this case, the Blizzard rolls through. Then I can just start bullet punching. We're gonna swap into Scizor. Have my choice bang get popping. This is gonna get in here, get into the action. And let's see what he does from here. Nox flinches, and we're gonna see an EP come out here. Which is totally fine by me. We should be able to eat that one up, right? Okay, we do. But, oh, Buffett's gonna take us out, right? Nope. Citrus Berry coming in clutch. I love it. This is why you always rock out a berry on the Incineroar. This works so well. The so Buffets are chipping. Uh, I think I just bullet punched into Vanellix, and I might go for a parting shot. Yeah, let's go into a bullet punch here. Finish you off, make sure we get that first turn priority, and I'm gonna go for this parting shot into Lando. If I get off this parting shot, that would be lovely, but I think Lando might be able to outspeed us. When Alex goes down, we drop him out, and we still have a Regilecki in the back alongside with our multi scale Dragonite, which is huge. Our power can come through here, and that's gonna take out mine similar. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay, who does he bring out from here? It could totally be that Zolt. It could definitely be that Zolt. Which is kind of scaring me. Which I think at this time, I'm burning out my Dragon if it's a Zolt. Because then I'm just going to Dynamax, have him hit me with the Hailstorm first. And then we're going to change up weather and hit him hard. I know, it's going to be Cinderace anyway. If Cinder is popping, I'm totally fine with that. He has to have Zolt in the back, right? There's no way you bring Vanellix and not the Zolt. Right? There's no shot. I just don't see that happening. But let's get this Dynamax rolling, not with you. I'm just going to Bullet Punch into Lando. And I'm going to Dynamax you. And I think best bet would be go into a Wormwind, right? Yeah, let's go into a Wormwind onto the Cinder slot. Get that attack drop. That'd be huge. And I don't think he's Dynamaxing. I think he's saving his Dynamax. I really, really like. Please don't tell me this Cinderace is bouncing. That would win him the battle easily. If this thing bounces here and dodges my Wormwind, that's a huge plus for him. Huge plus. Huge plus for him. I'm not really, like, too worried right now. I'm going to be worried when if that next Pokemon is a Zolt. Nurse is going to protect. Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm really doing this more so for the attack drop. The attack drop is just huge all around. Bull Punch is going to fly through. And we're going to chip away on you. Can we kill him in another shot? Okay, yeah. So next turn, Landorus is going to go down. Weather Ball is coming through here. And that's proc and policy. Which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with that. Weather Ball. So that's why he brought him out, was the weather ball. Wormwind's dropping. So we get the attack chop, which is enormous for us. So we do that, and I think we just start taking speed. I think we just start boosting our speed up here. Or, more importantly, I could change up weather. What do I think the play is here? Is that leftovers, or what is he? Oh, he's white herbed. He's herbed. He's herbed. Okay. So what is the play here? Play honestly might be just a bullet punch in the Cinderies. I'm not even gonna lie. I think that picks up the KO on the U. Right? That's the thing. If I bullet punch, I need it to KO the Cinderies. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go for it. And I think I'm just gonna change up weather. Yeah, we need your bull punch. He Dynamax. God dang it, man. That was like the only other thing in my head. Was, yo, is he going to Dynamax the Cinderace? He Dynamaxes that Cinderace. God, man. That just ruined it. I think we lost this battle now for sure. For sure. Oh, no. Unless we get like a crit or something. Oh, I was looking for a bull punch. Do him dirty. Oh, my lord. We put him on one. We put this thing on one. He's gonna go down to Buffett, though. Which is huge. And who are you gonna who are you gonna hit off? My scissors. Okay, so scissors are gonna go down here. Can we eat up this weather ball? I don't think we are. Wow. You life orb? Weather ball's gonna come out here. Eat this up. Hey, snack. Nope, we go down. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? That thing really dynamax. Put him on one, but again, Buffets are gonna take him out. And then it really depends on his last Pokemon, because. I have the what's called. Oh, Buffett's going to take out both these guys. Get them both out of here. Comes down to a 1v1. So it depends what Pokemon this, this is. Is it going to be the Zolt? Is it going to be the Zolt? 
Yo, that was a crazy turn. Four Pokemon go down in one turn. Cutting it close here. It's got to be the Zolt in the back end, right? It's got to be the Zolt. And the real question is, how many turns left in this hail? Is he Icy Rock? And it is the Zolt. That's why I did want to change up weather. That's why I didn't think he was going to Dynamax. I was like, dude, if it's the Zolt, he's not going to Dynamax. Uh, how many turns left in the weather? One. No, I do not want to run. <laughs> I always do that. I always hit like up on the uh, on the stick and it goes there. I have a super effective move, but I'm going to protect turn one just to get rid of this hail and waste it out. Rek coming out here. And I don't think he knows we're rocking ancient power. I don't think he knows that. I still crash coming out here. And I don't know if we can actually eat up a shot. That's our problem. That's my problem here. I don't know if we can eat up a shot. Go for the ancient power. We have recovered move. How much damage are we really going to do? I know we outspeed now. Ancient power rocking out here. Doom dirty. Get him after. Give us a stat boost. Give us all the stat boost. We do not get a stat boost. Iso crash comes through here. E eat it. He's not eating it. No shot. He's a glass cannon. There it is. There it is. Arctozole comes in clutch in the end. Picks him up that win in battle number two. And we are at one and one with this team. Sitting at 1-1, one one, we're hopping into our third and final battle. That last battle was so close. He legit won that game on a free focus dash for that Cinderace. Because if I had one other Pokemon, that would have been GG's. We would have been, been able to take out the Arctozolt and win that battle easily. But we're hopping into our third one. We're going up against a very cool Lapras team. He also has Mimikyu, Hydreigon. Love that Pokemon so much. And that is also another cool pseudo legendary that you guys can use for question of the day. Then he has Rillaboom. Uh, what's that Pokemon's name again? Uh, Darmanitan and everyone's favorite, Gengar. Okay, um, gotta go into my combo. Gotta get rocking here. Or do I not? Because he has Lapras. He does have Lapras, so, so I'm gonna go in the Regilecki. Let's go Regilecki. We are gonna bring Dragonite in the back end again. Um, go here. Dragonite. And I want Scizor. Is this the same team that I just had? I think it's the same team I just had. Which I'm digging. I am digging this team a lot. We're going to rock out with these guys and get buzzing and look for a win in battle number three. But I really want to go into the Dragonite Confi combo. It's just such a strong combo, but I can totally see him leading Lapras just to kind of uh, cover that. So we're going to lead Regilecki and try to make a nice little read on his lead. He goes Gengar and Lapras. So that is who he goes into. Gengar and Lapras. And then he's going to be like, bro, this dude leading Regilecki. I'm looking a little scared of that thing. And I'm just going to parting shot. I'm just going to parting shot with the, uh, what's it called? I think I'm just going to E-Web and get speed control. And go from there. Go E-Web here. And parting shot on the hill. Or I can just snarl. Yes. Drop speed. Drop special attack. Gotta love it. Gotta do it. Right? He could be weakness policy onto the Lapis. And that could be a problem. But I'm hoping he's maybe light clean. Let's just see what he does. And we're not even going to drop the fake out. Because I can't fake out on the Gengar. And if he Dynamaxes Lapras, we can't do anything. So there it goes. Fake out would have been a waste. Thank God I didn't use it. But the biggest part is, I think he is going to be weak to spot. So that's that's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing. He's going to drop the ice. He's going to get the roar bell up. But we're going to get the speed drop. And we're going to get a special attack drop. And then we're just going to keep doing that and pestering around on these Pokemon. And it should, the Snarl should actually do a decent amount of damage over onto the Gengar. I'm not even going to lie. Because look at that. That thing is a light weak. Is it lightly? Now we're gonna see if this thing's policy. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Show me no policy. First body's coming out. Ooh, that's rough. And he is policy. He is policy. He is policy. It's totally fine. Shadow balls can come out here first. That's totally fine. And Cinnamon should be able to outspeed. So that's awesome. Reds like he eats, and he does get the stat drop, the special defense drop. Ronald comes out here. Bang. Almost takes out the game. Off by uh, an inch. An inch. Another free focus hash popping out. Special attack drop comes out here. And he cursed bodies my snarl. He cursed bodies my snarl. And he's going to go for a geyser. Okay. Buttered biscuit. That's totally fine. You can go for that. Incineroar eats. Gotta love it. Gotta love the Incineroar eats. Considering this is what I'm going to do now. This is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to parting shot. I'm going to take out the Gengar with an E-Web. We're going to party shot onto the Lapras. God, I love this turn. Oh, I cannot E-Web. Do I still take you out? I think I still take out the Gengar. Right? I think I still take out the Gengar, and I just go for a party shot. That's going to be my play. Just so I have Incineroar for later turns. And he's going to guard. I dig that turn, because Regilecki outspeeds. 
The Volt Switch coming out here. You get him out of my game. I get to swap onto you. And now I can swap into whoever I want. And the Pokemon I am going to swap into is going to be my Dragonite. I could guard with Dragonite. Just so we can't get it. Yeah, just so we can't get a Roar Bell off. That's going to be the play. 100%. Dynamax, Max Guard, and read that Resonance coming in here. Right? He's got a Resonance on him. That's got to be a thing. That's the last thing I want, is him to get off in a war bell. So if I guard this and, and block this one, that's a huge turn for us. Oh, he's got, he's got Darmanitan, too. He's got Darmanitan, too? Chill on me, man. Let's Dynamax. Let's Max Guard. Let's Guard up and try to get off a of Flare Blitz, I guess. How much I want a Parting Shot? Parting Shot would be the play, but no. Yeah, let's Parting Shot. Go for the P Shot. The P Shot. But there's my Dynamax. He's got to go Resonance, right? He might even double up into me. I can definitely see that happening. And I'm surprised he guarded that last turn, but I'm kind of with it. As long as he doesn't get off that resonance, your boy should be chill. Your boy should be chill. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see what he does. Go for that resonance on me. Go for it. Show it to me. Show me what you got. Ice crash. Blocked. Are you doubling down into me? Show me you're doubling down into me. We get off a lovely little party shot. So we have Intimidate in the back end. We have Intimidate in that back end. Huge turn by me. Blocking that. Get that drop on me. Could go Regilecki. But that that's bold. That's bold to go Regilecki here. I said we just save Regilecki and we go into uh, my Scissor. Let's go into my Scissor here. I can Choice Band into a Bullet Punch. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. And show me you're going for a Resonance on me. Goes for a Resonance and he plays it smart. He plays smart and he goes into the Scissor slot. That's totally fine. We eat, but he does get off the Roar Bell, which is a little tough news for us. Just a, just a tad bit of tough news. Okay, we still have our multi-scale, which I really like. So they can proc my policy, we can get rocking after him. But I, at this time, I am just going to go for a Worm one. Or do I go for an Airstream? I said we start boosting speed for my, for my boys. Go for that, and I'm just going to go for a Bullet Punch over into Darmanitan. See now that works for us. Bull punch flying through choice band and technician ability. Maybe pick up the KO. Yep, get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. And we make the right call by going for the airstream because the worm wind would do nothing to a Lapras. It would just get the attack drop, which he's special attacking. So we get this. So we get this. And maybe he goes for an ice move. Maybe he goes for an ice move here. But that just showed off how strong Scissor is with that choice band. Through a what's it called? Through an award now. Dumped on that thing. He drops Hydro Pump, which is probably going to pick up KO, right? They're going to pick up KO? Yeah, okay. So Scissor goes down. He's doubling into my Scissor. Not my Skizzy. And now I bring out my Regilecki, and I save my Incineroar for the back end. Save my lovely Incineroar for the back end. He's going to drop a Hydreigon, which we know we have speed. All day we have speed. I might Volt Switch. I might Volt Switch here. What should I do here? Gotta go for a Wormwind. I think an E-Web does pick up the KO, so I am gonna go for an E-Web. Or I might as well just Volt Switch, right? 55 to 70. I might as well Volt Switch, right? Might as well just go for the Volt Switch. He's probably gonna protect Hydreigon, right? Oh, he does not. Yo, that's GG's. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Volt Switch picks up the KO. Dragonite's gonna be able to drop this Wormwind, and that is gonna be game. Game, set, and match, baby. Game, set, and match. We played this one actually decently well. Considering we made some nice pivot calls with my Incineroar and my Regilecki. Get him in the back end just so we can use him for later. And then have my Scissor come in here, hit hard with a Bullet Punch. Make a great Dynamax call. Get a nice little Max Guard off. All that good stuff. And rock out for this win. Warm Wind comes in for the final shot. Unless this thing's sashed. He's not sashed. Hydreigon gets wiped. Sends him out of here. And we go 2-1 and pick up that awesome winning record for you guys. Man, I loved using this team on the rank double ladder. It was so much fun using a Dragonite and Confi combo, but more importantly, it was a blast using that Scissor. You know, everybody loves Scissor. Such a cool Pokemon to use and a lot of fun. We dominated with him. We got to show off his strength and we got to show off this team to its fullest potential besides Milotic. But you guys kind of already know what Milotic does. He has a competitive and adrenaline orb, so if they're rocking out with Intimidate Pokemon, try to get that Pokemon in and try to make a hard read on the Intimidate. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.